Yes. Gotta love geek tours. <laughs> I'm driving through somebody's backyard. Hello, Julie McCallum. Welcome in. Good morning, everyone. Zippity Doo Doug, good morning. Michael O'Reilly, good morning. Steve, God, it's early out by you. It's like seven in the morning out in California. Welcome in, buddy. Paul Engel, good morning. Michael O'Reilly, good morning. We are trekking back home. Games are rained out today. We're just going to hang out with Casey's Corner of the World today. So that would be kind of cool. Casey is in a hotel in Baltimore, and uh, we're going to have lunch with him. Hey, CB Lee, good morning. We are going to have lunch with uh, him, and we are going to have, uh, I'm going to do my interview tonight, I guess, live with Casey. He wants to do it live. So something I've never done before. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. Bring it up just a little bit. There we go. How's everybody this Sunday morning? Hopefully your lives are going well. We got a rainy, overcast Dover and Maryland area. And uh, we're just doing our thing. I know some of my friends are still live. Is our dream was live this, this morning? I'm not sure if he still is. Uh, Mouse Talk was live this morning. Baker was doing a live Instagram. Whoa. Street moves. It picks up on one of the poles or something. It just takes off on it. Um, Baker was live doing an Instagram, so I have no no problem shouting out that those guys were live. In case anybody wants to do that. So what's going on, everybody? What's going on in your life this morning? As we were driving along backcountry roads. It's funny that you come up, Pete, as I am watching a league of their own. Okay. Good movie, Stevie Lee. Good movie. The ladies kill it. The ladies kill it. Whoa. Stop. I wish I could make this thing stop spinning. I locked it, but it's still spinning. <laughs> My ways just came on and told me we were way away from the baseball game. It's got to be a way for us to lock this gimbal so that it stops bouncing. No, no he's, he's awake. Hey, Debbie Burnfield. Huh? Won't be able to what? What is it? It's this. I, I locked this. But that's still moving. That shouldn't be moving once it's locked, right? Preston has no book. Yes, good morning. Good morning, good morning. We're going to be here with you for an hour or so, driving, heading home, so people can come in and out, hang around, just say hello. I know everybody has a lot going on today. A lot going on today. A lot of my fun going on. Hey, Paul, are you, where are you? What part of the world are you in? Are you out west? I think Paul's out west. Could be wrong. I got some sun yesterday.
Okay. I was going to invite you to, to go to lunch with me and Casey and Preston family, but you're not home, so it doesn't matter. But the thought was there, Paul. Seven a.m. is prime work on a video time before the kids get up. Well, there you go, Steve. That's good stuff. That is good stuff. My prime time is pretty much whenever. Everybody's got something going on in my house usually. We're doing something. Yeah, that would have been fun, Paul. Casey's uh, in town for today, tomorrow. I think he goes back on Tuesday. So that'd be kind of cool. That's a nice little farm right there. Nick, walking with the woods, coming in from England, UK, other side of the world, other side of the pond. Nick, what's up, brother? How are you? Can everybody say good morning to walking with the woods? You want to stop at this royal farm? That's a royal farm, yeah. Here? Can you get into it? Yeah, it looks like you can. What's up, fans? Welcome in. I will surely do that. I will surely do that. Yep, Bay Bridge, straight ahead. I like that. Uh, anybody else want anything for Royal Farm in the stream? Anybody want anything? We can pick you up something if you want something. I got to try to mess with this gimbal while we're in here. I got to get it locked. It's driving me nuts. Because it's following whatever. Can we get a large drink and a small fry, I guess? I'm going to change the mode so you might go on a gimbal ride. We need a bucket of chicken. Let's see if that does it. I think I might have fixed it. Um, Preston. Let's add a turn that is air. My wife loves the damn air up so much. Pardon my language. Freezing to death here. Um, Preston is doing pretty well. Uh, he uh, definitely was feeling it. He's got a big bruise on his rib, on his right side of his body, upper middle. A uh, little rough time sleeping last night, but made it through. Said he's really sore today, so... You're having a quiet weekend over there. Nice. Trying to save pounds. I get you. So, yeah. So, he's he's making through. You know, if they'd have played today, he'd have played. He was ready to get wanted to play. So, you know, he's a tough kid. And we're blessed that way. So, thank you, Julie Young. Oh, I got to fix Julie Young. Uh Julie, I can't fix it on StreamYards. Julie Young is going to be one of our newest um, mem newest uh, moderators. But I can't do it on StreamYards. It won't let me. So, Julie, tonight I'm interviewing Casey. Uh, if you're around, if you can't make it in, no problem with it. If you can stop in when I'm at home in front of the computer, I will make you a moderator. And then I got to get with Jen and get you um, into our moderator chat. But welcome into Julie Young. I talked to her last night um, on uh, social media, and she's going to join us. So, Who's your son? just came out. Blue Machiza, hello. Jen's done a great job with our uh, moderator chat and just doing it. So, yeah, if you could stop in, 
So. Speaking of Jen, there she is. Jen, I need your help, dear. Please. Um, we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make Julie Young a uh, a moderator. So if you when you have time later this week, some point, if we could get her into the mod chat, I'd really appreciate it. I was just talking about how good you how good you've done with that moderator chat. Dirt road. There's Casey, speaking of him. Casey's going to be hanging out for us when we get home. Thank you. I know you got a lot going on today, but I just wanted to let you know and keep you in the loop. We're trying to fill in with some quality people for moderating to assist with our sports I am going to be making some changes in the upcoming um, weeks, I guess, for, you know, I need moderators that are going to be in the chat and be supporting. Right now, I have a group of about 10 that are always there, and I want to try to help them and give them some relief that they don't, they can have and do other things. So I'm going to be making, making a couple adjustments there. So... Preston right now is inside. He wanted Royal Farms for the way home, so he's in there doing that. Everybody say hello to Casey. Everybody say hello to Jen. Uh, everybody say hello to Richard Bloom and Cheese who came in. I don't think anybody else came in that I missed. Music is decent this morning. I haven't had any real good songs yet. Still waiting for that. No. Preston was really upset that they didn't have a game.
This is why two pantries thrown down. 30 from the week of July 19 in 2003. Uh, I thought I'd fix this stupid thing. Nope. Number 17 with three little trousers. Nope, nope, nope. Number one on the U.S. Billboard country. It just so wants to turn. Turn every time our vehicle turns. Disneyland fan, hello. Whoa. Good morning. You gotta go out to the light. It's telling me right here to turn right. It doesn't know you're in a parking lot. Ninja. Okay. So it's the French fries. I'll get them. Number 16 on this week's throwback. Sorry, guys, my gimbal's going crazy. See, if Stephanie was here, they, we have all three of them here. Come on, gimbal, stop fighting me. So welcome in everybody. Hope your day's going good wherever it is. Preston, there's got to be a way to lock this thing. You're going on a gimbal ride for a minute. I'm going to try to re redo this. It's the smooth, Nick. Thank you, Jen. There's a way to lock it. I have to unlock it. Okay. Well, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Can't do it well. It's okay. Well, thank you, Preston, for helping. Gimbal ride is always fun. No, it's not. I don't like gimbal rides. I like to be able to do it so and control it. <laughs> we, yeah. Okay, Stevie. Like. So, everybody's saying hi to everybody this morning. It is, it's an overcast day. I saw so many deer last night over these last two days. And I mean, I'm, I'm talking like herds of like 10 and 12 down here on the, on the farm. If we do see a place that sells some vegetables, I wouldn't mind buying some. You don't have any cash. I mean, you could try if they if it's a bigger stand. Okay. I'm just saying. You could try. I don't know. Hopefully, we drive home safe. I hopefully, yeah, I want to drive home safe. We almost had an accident on the way down because of an idiot in front of us. Where are we going, Disneyland family? I am uh, going home back to Baltimore from Dover. Going back home, Preston's summer season is over. We got a fall season coming up. Uh, I've got less than three weeks now. I don't know, it's like, what are we at? Like 17 days, 16 days before we get together and hang out and have some fun times. Rob Fuzz, I don't have any horns, Rob. Beep, 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 horn, horn. That's the best I can give you. Everybody say hi to Rob Fuzz. I've been trying to get Rob Fuzz to come down for our event, but haven't been able to pull that off. I'm sure everybody would love to see a Rob Fuzz like. There's some nice little homes out here in these farm cities. Hopefully we're going to get up to a main road here. You'll take it. That's the best I can do, Rob. I don't have any horns ready to go, unfortunately. We are heading home, though. Idiots are always in front when you're driving, and morons are behind you. I didn't know that. That's good to know. Good to know. We almost bit it. That's all I know. Came came close. Preston, say hi to everybody. Everybody was... What? I didn't want that to hit it and spill it onto the phone. How are you feeling, buddy? Everybody's asking. Yeah? Is it it's still a big mark on your on your stomach or on your rib? Yeah. Yeah. Are you feeling sore? Okay. Cool. Charlie, are you going to the Orioles game on Monday? Good for you. 
WW Explore and Chill to safe travels. Thank you. Welcome in. Seventeen fantastic days. Okay. I knew we were getting close to those numbers. So that's cool. Oh, you're asking me? Yeah, I am going to the Orioles game on Monday. Yes. Preston and I are going. We're probably going to... I'm going to do some type of a broadcast from down there. I don't know what. Might just be a little bit of a hangout or something. I don't know. We've got incredible seats. Casey was uh, very generous and uh, wanted to take Preston for his uh, 16th birthday to the Orioles Dodger game and we are sitting right behind home plate. I'm pretty sure that, that Preston and Casey will be able to feel the sweat coming off the guys as they're swinging their bats. So, Steve, what's up? It ain't that bad down there in the stadium. We're fine. Uh, Preston took a, a, a ground ball off his off his ribs yesterday. It hit a rock and took a different run when it went crazy and he got hit and got hurt. So, Lore, I, I don't need to know about that. We, this is not a news channel. We're here just hanging out. We don't want that. We don't want to talk about that. It's sad, Laura. I want to bring happiness, my friend. I want to bring happiness. That's my goal. Happiness, happiness, happiness. Preston, what are you most excited about for tomorrow for the game? Seeing the Dodgers, Seeing the Dodgers play? Yeah, you've never seen them live, right? That's the first time. Are you wearing a Dodger hat or an Oriole hat tomorrow? You're going to wear both? Okay. No breezers from the West, Casey said, yeah. You know, Casey's been an amazing person in our lives and in Preston's life kind of like an uncle to Preston, which is pretty, really cool. And Casey, that box came too. It's hit. It's hidden in my office. So. Did you guys see my hair yesterday? How the, uh, all the blowing uh, sand and wind and everything, dirt. There was a lot of wind yesterday at the park. Literally my hair yesterday was blonde. I look like a really bad M&M, and not the candy, the guy. No, Kimball, stop. We posted the pins on Monday, okay. Thank you, Nick uh, is sending over a bunch of uh, a bunch of pins from Disneyland Paris for the um, event is, I don't know, is Squirt still in here? Squirt, if you're still in here, do we have Nick on the list? Because if not, we need to put Walking with the Woods on the list for the Paris stuff coming from Paris. I think he is on the list. I don't know because you're controlling that. Love the hair. Thank you, Debbie. Here. Okay. Can you check that, Squirt, for me, please? I thought you were midlife bleaching your hair. No, I'm not bleaching my hair. I've thought about coloring it. I ain't going to lie. Thought about coloring it a little bit, but I don't know. We'll see. Not blonde, though. I looked ridiculous last night. I just scrubbed my hair like I was trying to knock my, knock my hair off last night with uh, shampoo and everything just to get that out of we have entered Maryland. Yes. Amen. We're back in Maryland. This is a good song. You guys know it. And they do. Great song. Nick got him a double check. Thank you, Angela. Yeah, I wish you were coming to it, Nick, but, you know, we're going to hopefully see you 
uh, just after the first of the year, and I'm excited about that, so that'll be cool. Now, no midlife, Casey, no midlife. Gulls gang, welcome in. I just, you know, I got in the car and I looked in the mirror and I was like, what the heck happened? And I didn't realize, we didn't realize there was so much blowing there yesterday. The crazy, so I had people sending me direct messages asking about what happened with the, um, with the streams yesterday. Uh, it's pretty simple what happened. The, um, we kind of figured it out. We don't know 100% for sure, but I'm almost 100 there was a, there was a, we were sitting there watching the field and all of a sudden I saw um, two marine choppers click in into action. And shortly after that, within like 10 minutes after that, here comes this giant 747. It, uh, blue and white, blue and white straight standard presidential colors, unmarked, uh, plane. And then I had a police chopper circling while that was landing. And I, it, it was it was probably the president's wife coming back to the house because their, their house is really close to where that field location was. Uh, and the plane stayed there docked for a while. So I think that when she was coming in, they started jamming all type of heavy data signals and all type of signals where people could use technology to try to affect something. And because of that, I lost all data. I mean, I, I traveled all around that field. I went out to the outfield. When I got closer to the airport, I lost all my signal 100% entirely. Couldn't even do anything. So it was just one of those things. I couldn't, it worked fine the day before in that same same complex, no issue. And everybody was having trouble even the game changer guys that were going off of low data frequencies were having some issues so you know it happens and uh yes i was frustrated with it um you know but we worked through it cv lee thank you for being here enjoy your uh enjoy your movie and appreciate you stopping it So, but we worked through it, and I got myself calmed down, and uh, and then I and then I went I went flying off my chair. That kind of happened too. My scooter went flying off the scooter. Did you see me take that back off, press or no? Huh? I did pretty good with it, didn't I? Huh? I back bumped right onto the back of my back and breathed out. And I didn't even feel it. Didn't even feel it. This, uh, the location down there was okay. Preston said the fields were crap, right? So Preston said the fields were crap. I didn't like the fact that there was no disability access anywhere. There was no simple path to get to fields. You had to go over rocks and gravel. Uh, I got caught in sand. I was trying to get over and hand out some business cards to some people and stuff and I got stuck in the sand. So I was like, ah. Debbie says, it's okay, Pete. I was still rooting for Preston and the team through Game Changer. Well, thank you. That's the truth about us. It's a lot of uh, heavy old country this morning on here. Yeah, I did take it like a pro KC. I didn't even realize it. I just did it just out of sheer reaction because I had learned how to do that years ago from my brother and the stuff we did with, the, you know, pro wrestling and just took the back ball. I just did it. So I'm sure he'll be happy to hear that when I talk to him. I think we're going to try to go to a wrestling show next weekend. Um I hope my daughter Kayla is available. If not, my wife's going to have to drive. And I'm going to be thrilled. Anyway.
Uh, what was your best moment of this? Double from your back was pretty freaking sweet. That's what Casey says. Probably that, he says. Um, no, Casey won't be up here in August, Debbie. That's why he came up here to hang out with Preston for his birthday. We're on a back road here, so we'll hopefully get back out on a main road shortly. Golden, go ahead and go. Don't load up my chat with that, please. Have a good day, Gulls Gang. Look at all the birds. Holy cow. Gulls and swans and seagulls and I don't know what else was there. Go to the beach. Enjoy yourself. Moderators, how's the signal now? Did it come back in a little bit? Thank you, Angela. Better now, better now. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. If you're out there driving, I hope you're driving safe out there. You know, Paul's, Paul's out on the other side of the country doing his thing. Casey, I never did ask you, Are you? do you like seafood? That's my question. Do you like seafood? Mm -hmm. Oh, railroad tracks. What on the back end? Of, yeah, 301. I knew it was that short line. It's weird seeing some of these roads that I used to drive. Okay, cool. Preston, you want to do Matthews for lunch? Or no? Matthews or... Okay. We're, we'll eat somewhere close to the house. I'll have you meet us at the house. Why don't you plan on meeting at the house around like... Like 2.30 time frame. And you have my home address, right? You can just put that into your GPS and, and make it there. Double check on that, too. I think it's some good sun. I am happy with the sun yesterday. Might have been some wind, too. Yeah. How, did, how, what do you guys think of that? We got a new emoji in there. I know Jen hit the emojis up earlier. I have to read these. I can't see them. But I see Debbie did use the new emoji. I guess that'll come into play at some point. I figured as much. That's a chair out of somebody's front yard. Yep, there you go, Paul. What wrestling show? Uh, Maryland Championship Wrestling, 25th anniversary. I've got, um, it's the 25th anniversary for the uh, my, my family, my brother, and, and his partner own Maryland Championship Wrestling. But there's going to be a lot of people there I haven't seen for a bit. Um, the Hardys are going to be there, so I want to talk to Matt and Jeff. Mickey James is going to be there. I want to get, I want to get, um, I want to get Mickey to film a, a spot for my channel, which I know she will if I ask her. Uh, the Headbangers will be in town. I haven't seen Chad and Glenn 
Chaz and Glenn for forever. So, um, I just want Pre I want Preston to be able to meet some of these people that you know are key people. I think Tom Brandy's going to be in town. Who he is formerly Salvatore Sincere in the WWE. I just talked to Tom this morning on Facebook, but I haven't seen him in forever. MCW wrestling was the making of so many stars. Yeah. And a lot of them are coming back for this event. Good to see you, Beast Folk. Glad you're here. Um, a lot of them are coming back for this event. So I want to go out and let Preston meet some of them. You know, I want, I, I'm going to ask Matt and Jeff to do a bumper for my channel real quick. So I have something like that. So I also have somebody that I want to call while Matt and Jeff are with me to say hello. So. It'll be great to see them. Uh, Jim Ross is coming into town. Eric Bischoff will be in town. Um, Action Andretti's coming into town. Who? Oh, Ellsworth is going to be there. Thank God. James Ellsworth will be there. Who else is coming in? Who other big names are coming in? I know he's got some surprises lined up that I haven't talked to my brother about yet. Cicero will be there, Preston. I don't know if you remember Cicero. No? I know Kayla will. Text your sister and ask her if, if she knows about next weekend. I don't know where she is. Yeah, I can't. I haven't met Jim Ross. Jim Ross is really good friends with my brother. I've never met Jim face to face, but I'm looking forward to it. Good old JR. Definitely looking forward to it. A lot of memories from that. There's some people, obviously, that are no longer with us that unfortunately aren't going to be there, but they'll be in our thoughts as we're uh, as they're doing all that. Hey, we're getting on 301. We should have a good signal now straight through. I might even uh I might even ask my brother if I can go down to ringside for the for a couple matches. I can't get involved in anything because my disability is too limited. Then again, it might be fun if I got thrown in the ring and somebody took off my leg and hit somebody with it. My leg could be a weapon. Uh, yeah, I love the old school WWE. You know that. I miss those days. Rock and wrestling, Hulk Hogan time frame with that whole rock and wrestling is what brought me in. I remember watching it with my with my brother in the basement. You met him at his cookbook signing. Mick Foley. I've, ne I've never met Mick. My brother knows Mick really well. My brother wrestled Mick a couple times, but I I, I wish he was bringing in Mick. Well, yesterday I proved I could take a bump. Yesterday, yeah, Casey. There's a lot of them that I wish were still around. A lot of those old schoolers that are gone that I've had a chance to meet. Mola and May Young are gone. Yokozuna's gone. King Kong Bundy's gone. Piper, I never had a chance to meet. I still regret that. What are you smacking? Huh? Oh. We have a picture of Piper from his last Piper's Pit in my basement that was happening in my brother's. Oh, speaking of, we got to take that belt back to them when we go. We need to clean that clean that belt up and return it. You can wear it into the arena before we return it over your shoulder. You'll be the only one in the building with the cruiserweight title from Maryland Championship Wrestling. We have the cruiserweight title is in my basement from from my brothers uh, from Maryland Championship Wrestling. Uh, after they 
retired that belt, I brought it home. Mixed book signing, he talked to each person. He's a, he's a great guy. You don't want to go to dinner with him because he'll sit there and pick at your food, but he's a great guy. I've heard all kinds of stories about that. Interesting memories. Preston, who would you want to meet over there? Yeah. Have you ever met Matt or Jack? Yeah. Yeah, you met the Hardys. Okay. And you met you met Lita, right? Yeah. Yeah. Have you met Mickey? Do you remember her? Yeah. Mickey James. Okay. Yeah, he watches his pets. CGH, hello, it's rainy in here in Oklahoma, and I'm under flash, flash flood warning. Well, be careful. Be careful. Uh, I'm trying to get to these. Hold on, guys. Nope, I can't get to them. Oh, well. Guess I'm not eating the fries. Fries will wait. Your best friend Carmen is a huge Matt Hardy fan. Tell, tell Carmen to go out to the show. They're doing a meet and greet, Matt and Jeff. Yeah, be safe, CGH. Be safe. You should do that. Angela, if you want to get in, I, I can get you in. If you guys decide to go, that's not a problem. I'm definitely, I want to go out there. I haven't, it's 25 years of history, and I'm still here to be a part of it. I want to see it. Loud as hell when you're popping bubbles. She's not local to the DC area. Oh, well, that wouldn't work then. Yeah, that wouldn't work. You got to be so, because, well, it's not even in DC. It's not even close to me, Angela. It's another 40 minutes north of me. It's in Joppa, Maryland. So that's a, that's a long haul. Yeah, I'm well. I'm well aware of that, Laura. He does. He's doing a lot on social media. He's been keeping real busy on social media. But I've known them since they were kids, since they were 15 years old. I watched them go through their whole career. I remember when they had their first matches in WWE. How excited we all were! I remember the ladder matches. I remember the title title pops and all that um, through the years. You know, when you see somebody grow up and go through that, it's pretty cool to see that. We, we were lucky. We got to see that with Mickey, with 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 uh, Lita, with the Hardys. Orlando Jordan was in the WWE for a while. He was my brother's student. There's three, there's three referees in WWE right now that were trained by my brother. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Stephanie Keel. Welcome in three referees up there that were trained by my brother which is kind of cool it's an accomplishment itself i mean referees are just important to the storylines and everything that happens a good referee can make or break a match you know everybody says stephanie's saying hi to you preston hello huh? stephanie's saying hi to you all the yep molly <laughs> Molly just said it. All the three C's are now here. That quickly.
that's a good morning right there. That's a good Sunday morning. Good morning, Annette. Good morning, Mara. Welcome in. Thank you for joining. The pop the Hardys get after coming back to WWE at WrestleMania was, oh yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Crowds definitely love those guys. I mean, they're good people. Oh, we're starting to get some rain. Who am I holding accountable for this rain? I'm still, am I in Delaware? No. Can't hold Jeanette accountable anymore. Yes. Angela Minta, Stephanie Keel, Monroe Molly, all in the chat. Stephanie's saying hi to you. Who? Stephanie Keel. Who? You. Well, I heard a fire truck for a minute there. Jesse for the rain. Yes, we'll blame Jesse. Uh, Debbie Thuner, I got one hour left on one hour left till I get home. So I'll get home in good time. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. You just left Jeff and Ansel. Why? Did they just finish? I guess. Jerf. He's got a number of names too. They wanted to come up for the uh, for the August event. He was really disappointed. He had to cancel out at the last minute because they're doing this whole house thing. And that has to take precedence. And I fully get that. But he's already told me he will be here next year. He's already told me that. 100% he and Andrew are coming next year. He wants me to, wants me to do an Oreo game next year because he wants to go to Camden Yards. You still blame Jesse for the weather stuff? Yeah, you know, I don't know. I still feel her presence from time to time. You got your meetup t-shirt yesterday. Awesome. Hopefully you guys are taking a look at the shirts regardless of if you're um, going to the meetup or not. We, uh, we came up with some really good shirts. Um, Jen helped me figure it out and get it together. And the final came out really good. And I like it a lot. And, and they're available for everybody uh, that wants them. So you, you could be a part of the meetup even though you're not there. Because there's going to be live streaming from it and everything. Yeah, they met up. Uh, I was in there earlier, Mar. I was in there earlier with Jeff for about 40 minutes before we left the hotel. But yeah, the shirts are really good and they're they're on the site. Can one of the mods drop the link, direct links right to the shirts so that somebody can go take a look at it? But definitely get it ordered. Jump on that shirt. We're, we'll have a commemorative one each year for the August event. That's what I want to do. I'm not going to worry about shirts, you know, for Disney stuff as much down there, but more for our August event. Debbie Thurner says, I ordered a, a red one. That's the one Jesse wanted. That's the one Jesse wanted uh, us to do. I I look better in blue than I do in red, so I went with the blue myself just for that. A lot of people order the red and look good in red, and that'll be great. We made a couple color options just because I wanted people to feel comfortable in whatever colors suited them. But I'm real happy with the shirts. I think it's a nice way to commemorate Jesse. And maybe that's something that'll be a thing. Maybe that's something we'll find a way to do next year, too. I'll figure that out when I get to there. I got plenty of time to think about that. Anybody else that has not ordered a shirt that's going to order one, let me know in the chat. Or if you ordered one and received it, put it in the chat. Let me know. Love hearing it. Stephanie said she's going to post the tea in the, in the mod chat. I should have had a banner over here for it, and I didn't load it up. I don't know why I didn't load it up. I should have thought about that. 
this whole stream yard thing is, is what it is. Angela said hers is arriving tomorrow. There's the link. Paul just dropped it. Thank you, Paul. Paul just dropped the link. TOS Sports, I'm a Yankee fan. To be honest, I felt bad for you Oreo fans. Congrats. Well, I think we're ahead of you. TOS, is this your first time on my channel? Did you find me today? Or have you been on before? Debbie's weight in the red and blue shirts. Nice. Moderators, kill that. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's something that happened over there this morning or something or a joke or something. I don't know what that is. There we go. A little Alan Jackson. The shirts, I think, came out too. We got a lot of good stuff playing. Kayla's planning on going to the show. Good. I was here before. I'm just on a different account. Okay, TOS. Well, welcome back in. I'm going to have some Yankee games coming up, so I'll make sure I have some that you can watch. And I'm happy with what the Orioles are doing this year. It's taken years of rebuilding, right people in place. Yes, we got beat by Cleveland. I'm sure I'm going to get reminded about that. So Josh Naylor is my boo, apparently, for... I think I gotta wait till September to play them again. Yes, I do know Matt and Jeff Floor. Lucky enough to call them friends. Yeah, oh, Ryan Rowe, I knew that would make you happy too. I should I I'm glad you're in here and having fun. Yes. We lost to your Cleveland Guardians. I ran my mouth and I lost a bet, so congratulations on that. Yeah, we had a big comeback win. I was watching it, sitting in the hotel, watching it last night. Big bomb by Brady, by Henderson to to tie the game and a two-run uh, double or one-run double by uh, Sam Tander to to get him in. So we'll see if they get the game in today. I'm dri We're driving towards the stadium area, and the more we get closer to home, it's cloudy. Bad. Yeah, he, he does. He's gotten old. No doubt, TOS. You just got home from picking up groceries. Nice. Nice. That's a good deal. I just appreciate you guys stopping in and keeping company on the way home. Especially since I didn't get to stream yesterday. Um, I'm glad I get to do that. And tonight, I'm going to be live interviewing Casey's Corner of the World from the studio. It'll be the first time ever I'm doing an interview in the studio where if I ask the wrong question, the guest can slap me. So be prepared that that could happen. Yeah, Donaldson's rough too. Santander. No, he's there. He's, he was Hispanic last night if you listen to the interview. Yeah, he's really getting over kids. Yes, I'm. I'm not. I'm a little nervous about that. I want to do a live interview in August. The three C's will be in town. We may be able to get a guest. I think it would be great to do a live interview, maybe from like get get Baker to put up a couple cameras and do it do it live with a multi camera interview from like my dining room table. That would be kind of cool. I want to see if I can work that out. I got to talk to all the all the parties involved first and make sure that it would be a go. But I think that would be kind of cool. Live on location, right there, all just doing it, hanging out. Sounds awesome to me. Yeah, he, he's been around for a while, Laura. I've known him since they were 15. Orioles have come a long way from having the Bundy start against the Royals. Well. It's just taking time to rebuild. They they were really off. 
you know, they were way behind the other metrics of all these other teams, so they needed. Oh, it's in the contract. I wasn't sure about the contract. I didn't handle the contract. I'm just a higher help. Good songs. We're going to go over the Bay Bridge in a few minutes. Bridge is huge. Biggest bridge in in Maryland. We actually had so uh, have had multiple people take their own life off of it. It's that big that they can jump off of it. They've jumped out of their cars and jumped off the bridge. So. Well, the Pirates are doing a lot better. They still got a little ways to go, I think, in their overall depth, but they're a lot better. FAP, what's up? No, I don't have any UFOs or Bigfoots. It's starting to rain, though. It's starting to rain pretty good. Good to see you, Fap. How you doing? We're going, I'm going to go live from the Dodger game tomorrow night, Fap. Live from the game. I don't know how much I can show. I got to watch what I do because I can't overshow. But at least we'll be there. and I might try to interview a player or something. I don't know. We'll see. See what we're going to do. Oh, PNC is awesome. Awesome. We pressed it and I've been there, what, two or three times? The PNC four times? I don't know. PNC is great. It's the drive up there. Up through the Pennsylvania mountains, it's a pain in the took us. And then if you got Baltimore license plates or Raven stuff on your on your windshield, they flip you off and yell at you and all kind of stuff. you guys got going on today we are i don't know how many how far are we from home 49 we're 46 miles from home here 46 on the mile front oh i want to go we want to go to a cubs game casey i'm dying to go to a cubs game Preston and i are also talking about going to fenway i'm gonna i'm gonna probably you know give up uh, one of the disney trips and do two baseball trips uh here and Citizens Bank, he wants to go up to Philly. I want to go. I want to go to Cleveland because I want to go to the Football Hall of Fame. He doesn't want to go with me on that, so I'm going to do that one by myself. But he wants to go up to Pennsylvania. He wants to go to Boston, and he wants to go to um, he wants to go to the Cubs game with me too. We want to do a West Coast thing too. At some point, we want to go to to Disney in California, and I want to add to it. I want to go up to San Francisco and go to Walt's museum and go to a Giants game. And then I'd like to go to either a Dodger or Angels game in California when we're there. So that's another trip for another time that we got to just get on the books and do. But I, I, those are some of the parks that I want to see. Any Dodger thing, much appreciated. Well, there you go. We're going to do it tomorrow. And that says, if you ever come to Chicago and see the Cubs, I'll try to meet you, Joe. Awesome, and that we want to do that. That's I want. I want to go to Chicago on a weekend. You know, even if it means coming in like like a Thursday, where we can catch a, a White Sox game and a Cubs game in the same weekend. Now, obviously, the Cubs are more iconic, and everything. But yeah, Doug would go to PNC with us. Awesome. Well. We got, we've been to PNC a couple times. I'd love to get back up to it, but I definitely want to get to side. Preston hasn't seen Fenway yet. Neither one of us has seen Wrigley yet, and I want to see it. No, I didn't know their father. father. Is Otani going to get traded? I say yes. I say yes because of what they can get for him. I think the only challenge is the owners out there are thinking about the fact that if they trade Otani – how many people are not going to come to the games because he's not there? 
I think their attendance will drop 50%. So, yeah, you need to get to Fenway. You're a, you're a Red Sox fan. Fenway, there's walking in there, you get goosebumps. The history of the players that have played there, going up to the top of the monster. You know, I've been all over that park. I've sat by Pesky Pole. I've sat up on the monster. It's a great place to watch a game. Hall of Fame week is, I'm probably not, I'm not going to go Hall of Fame week, Ryan. You know, I'm going to come out there and, and go out there and just have, just, to, I want to take it in and I don't, I don't need a bunch of thoroughfare, a bunch of craziness. I just want to go out and have a good time. Doug, I've already been to Heinz Field multiple times to see games. I love that stadium, how they have the Hall of Fame inside there. I think it's great. I love how they have the Lombardis out there on display. I think it's fantastic. Wolf is slow. Welcome in. Wolf is slow. When you do Chicago, I got your meal plan. Okay, good. Better include deep dish downtown. We appreciate you stopping by, Wolfie. Hey, Molar man. Welcome in. You might go next week to the hall. Nice. Yeah, they do a good job with Hall of Fame week. But I want to go out there. With, I don't need a crowd. You know, I just want to go out there, just have a good time, check it out. You know, I wouldn't mind checking out. There's a musical Hall of Fame out there. At some point, I wouldn't mind going. To, I wouldn't mind going to a Cleveland game. I'd like to see that stadium. You know, to me, it's always Jacobs Field, right? Because that's, you know, where the tribe used to play. But I'd like to go. I don't, what's it called now? They changed the name of it. I can't remember. It's been bought out like every other stadium. I'm waiting for Camden Yards to be all of a sudden become the, you know, unified waste dump stadium or whatever. I don't know. From somebody wanting to offer millions of dollars to cover it. Molar Man, congrats on 10,000. Anthony threw some shorts out there that went viral and he, he got over 10,000 subscribers. So congratulations to him. That's been happening for a couple people recently. It's like winning the lottery when that happens. Not as good as winning the lottery because you can do more with money. But it's like the YouTube lottery. Uh, Camden Yards is another stadium. On well, nice. Well, you're going to get there, Casey. Pete, it's probably too late to plan, but the Orioles are in Philly next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I know. We were looking at it. But I, I, we may... It, it would have to be a thing where we drive up for the day. We're not going to stay overnight because my wife works. The problem is that my wife would have to be the one to take us because my daughters have things going on. Uh, Amber's away in Aruba or on her way there now, and Kayla's got stuff lined up for work. And my wife has to work, you know, early in the morning. So that's a lot, a lot to go up to catch a 7 o'clock game, be done by 10. You're probably getting home by midnight. I wouldn't mind doing it, but it's kind of up to them if we're going to do it. Guardian Stadium is, is a nice day. Ryan, it looks cool on TV. I just like to take it in and see it myself. You know, take the train. I did it with Dad. Two plus days. Got to see Wrigley for the first, and also the the country with the train. Oh, FAP. That sounds cool. Well, Casey Casey's from up there, and he knows that way, so. Knowing that he would want to go with us would be cool. We would definitely, that's definitely going to happen if we go. Casey will be with us. Always enjoy going up there. Fairly interesting there. I've only been to Chicago. <laughs> God, I hate saying this. I've only been to Chicago when I was on the Jerry Springer show. That's the only time I went to Chicago. The limo picked me up at the airport. They did take me by Soldier Field so I could see that because I asked if I could see that. And then the rest of the time was spent at NBC Studios. So, I don't know anything about, or you know, I didn't get to see much up there, and I got to have deep dish pizza because they brought it in from one of the local places down there. It was really good. So I'd like to see a little bit more of that. Ever since you know coming out of everything that I went through with medically, <coughs> I'm kind of on a little bit of this kick that I want to see things that I haven't seen. The going to the baseball Hall of Fame really kind of kicked that in a couple weeks ago. I'd like to go back up there at some point, you know, and, and do that again because I think you could walk through and see a bunch of things you didn't see the first time. 
So that's something I want to do. Little things of optimistic hopes, I guess. Not not necessarily, whoa! Not necessarily, you know, just thoughts of things. Have to see more of Chicago. I know there's a lot of cool stuff out there. You know, seeing Soldier Field was awesome. I gotta be honest. You know, just to see the pillars at night all lit up. That, from a sports fan, that was really cool. That was really cool. Yeah, like, well, we're going over the Bay Bridge. Let me see if I can switch the camera here. Heck, maybe not. I'm not allowed to hit buttons. That's what I was told. Come on. Copy. Yeah, I can't get it get it to go over there right now. Mike Wazowski, what's up? Speaking of Chicago, welcome in. Wait, wait, stop the car. You were on Jerry, not asking why. Yeah, I was on there, Casey. I think my mother has the video, actually. I got to talk to her because I've committed to showing it to one person that's going to get to see it. Yeah, I don't know their parents, Laura. I never got into knowing their parents. That was a long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away when I was on that show. He's passed away now. He's left the earth and gone run his show in the great beyond. He's probably got Jesse on as a guest right now somewhere. Oh, no, it's not going out publicly, Debbie. Whoa. I committed to one person for a private showing. That's it. That thing is not going up on YouTube. And the great thing is there's so many Jerry Springers, unless you know the actual title, you'll never find it. Unless somebody trips over it by accident. Could that happen? Yeah, that could happen. But there's so many episodes of Springer out there. Like, I've legitimately searched and tried to find it and had trouble. And actually thought I didn't have a copy of it until my mother was over the house about a month ago and reminded me, oh, I have a copy of that. NBC sent a copy to us. Can we see it at the meetup? No, probably not going to happen. It would take some. It would take somebody really trying to talk to me to get me to pull that off. But it was a fun show. It was definitely different. Let's just say that. You thought my show was chaos? That's true chaos of what that thing was. Okay, Lord. That's good. You went to Jerry Springer's show once? Ridiculous? Yeah. It was ridiculous. Being on that stage and looking out at the at the, the people watching that was definitely different. Definitely different. Wow, there's a lot of people fishing there today. Look at all them. That guy right there caught something. He was really in. A lot of, a lot of good shows were filmed in Chicago. Jerry Springer, Jenny Jones, Oprah, they were all filmed in Chicago. Oprah Winfrey used to be the um, newscaster here in Baltimore before she started doing her show. She was on Channel 13 here. Hard to believe how far she's come. 36 miles. 36. Got to get home, get unloaded, get organized. Probably put dogs out, all that kind of stuff. Then Casey would be over around 2.30. Donahue was filmed in Chicago. I gotta remember that show. Donahue. 
Is that guy still alive in that? I don't know. Football 12, hello, welcome in. I can't remember if that show was filmed or if he's still alive or not. Phil Donahue. He was kind of one of the pioneers of that whole genre. No. Cut it out, Kimball. Stay up top. Stay up top. I don't know if he's still alive or not. A lot of great shows like that that are not around anymore. It's amazing how much, you know, time changes and you can go and forget stuff. It still doesn't feel like it was that long ago that Johnny Carson was doing his night show. And yet he's been gone for years. Danny Bonaducci, I remember the Danny Bonaducci show. Married to Marlo Thomas. I know, yeah, I know who Marlo Thomas is. I didn't know he was married to Marlo Thomas. Wow, learned something new today. It, that doesn't surprise me. You can get two people like that that are part of, a, you know, a, that type of community, you know, with celebrity and all that stuff that end up together. No, there's nothing off limits, Doug. You can ask me whatever you want. You can ask whatever you want. I'll be on Zippy Do Doug show on Thursday, on Wednesday. So, hello, Contessa. Welcome in. How are you? Are we there yet? No, we're close. 30 some miles in the rain, slickery conditions, but we're making it. We've got a problem with our back tire too. We've had the, I think we got a nail or something in it because when we were leaving the, the game yesterday, we had low air pressure, we had to go put it in. And then this morning when we got up to leave, it was really low. So I think we're gonna have to deal with that this week. Feel free to ask what you want, Doug. What time are we doing that interview? Is it six? What time is that interview again? Remind me. I know I have it on my computer at home. 25 minutes from where you live, Annette. That's neat. How are we getting traffic here? Maybe it's just thick. Maybe that's all it is. Uh, Casey says, I know people that went to Oprah giveaway show. Taxes not included. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I never went to an Oprah show. I can only imagine. I would have loved to have been to an Ellen show in the 20 days of Christmas thing where she was giving away the farm, you know. Look under your seat. Seven o'clock, Doug. Okay. That's right, because I didn't want to interfere with Joy, because this Wednesday, Joy has got her new show. Um, Angela or Jen or somebody. Help me out with the right name to that show. I I don't want to be wrong with it. Spicy and Sassy, I think, is right. Somebody find the link for that show and drop it into the chat. Joy, Joy is starting a whole new show. It's her and uh, Monterey Molly and T. Marie's Place. And they're going to be doing all kind of chat and talking. So Wednesday, 8 o'clock. Come see me over uh, at Zippy Do Doug at 7. And then Doug, part of my contract or part of my uh, my rider for doing the show is I want I want to push everybody over to Joy that night. I want to see them do really well with their new show. During the breaks, the Jerry Springer show, producers came out and coached the people. Yeah, well, I know that, Mike. I was there. That's, you know, they didn't have to coach me because, I, you know, they brought in wrestlers for that reason. A lot of wrestlers were on that show. One of the moderators will go find the link for that in just a minute. Um, Doug, you're a moderator. You can also drop the link for the interview into this chat if you would like as well. Feel free for that. Ellen's show would have been a, would be awesome. Yeah, 
I always liked Ellen. I thought she was funny. Shame about her um, her DJ. The guy committed suicide. And when someone does that, they were going to do that regardless, and they are in a really deep spot that I don't know if people can get them out. There it is. Short and Sassy Showdown. Thank you, Angela. Short and Sassy Showdown. That'll be on Wednesday, 8 o'clock. It's Joy S's channel. First off, there's, there's 15 to 20 of you in here right now. If you're not subscribed to Joy, click on that Short and Sassy right now and hit subscribe. Let's get Joy up to 1,000 subscribers. Help her out. She's on the way there. But put that on your plan. Come see that on Wednesday. So I'm hoping your weekend's going well so far. Showing on a Sunday morning here. Maybe That'll be a good show. It's Kim Ashley on the highway. So I have no idea what they're going to be talking about, but I'm sure the three of them, it'll be good. We'll go for a couple more minutes here, then I'm going to close things up. And, you know, remember, tonight I'll be live with uh, Casey's Corner of the World. It'll be a live in-studio interview. We will set that up and get that done. That'll be fun. This week is Poetry Night. Yes. And then Sunday night, we got the debut of, of our new show. Uh, Stephanie or Angela, if you could pull that out and drop that link in. The ladies are taking over the channel. Angela, Stephanie, and, and uh, Monroe Molly uh, will be taking over the channel. So uh, chips and hot sauce and squirt will be on top of the game. Their guest for the first show will be Joy S. And uh, maybe that night will be announced in a couple of the upcoming guests. We'll get that done. Hopefully this week we're going to get together and I'll find out, get all the directive from the bosses and figure out what we're doing. That's going to be a great show. There's Doug dropped in the Wednesday hump day hangout for the seven o'clock interview with me and him. This is a love thing you should always buy. Not a lot of boats out on the river here today. Check that out. There you go, guys. How about that river right there? Well, thank you, Mike Wazowski, for subbing to Zippity Doo Doo. Too much corruption and crime. Yeah, it was nice. I mean, it's a pretty, it's down here by Annapolis, Maryland. If you know where Annapolis, Maryland is, it's kind of where we're at. Rough area. Yep, Naval Academy is right here. I'm literally passing a sign for the Naval Academy. It's right off a of row road here. You take this exit that we're going by right now spin around and go right back there and we are at the naval academy there's the clubhouse chaotic chat link that'll be sunday night six o'clock you're going to finish with us you're going to watch the uh, the the girls do their thing and then uh the ladies are going to send you over to dave of uh, brandy and dave doing his sunday night rant and uh that'll be a good show as well so a lot of good stuff going on in the community that you're going to want to check out Please find you guys. That'll love your ball. That person was coming, regardless. Toby Keith, I wonder how he's doing. <laughs> Waze is telling me that we better leave for the baseball game. We've got an hour and some I'm going to drive. Ways does not have a clue to that. So, I wonder if the Orioles are going to get their game in today. I wonder if there's going to be a window with no rain where they can get the game in against the Marlins. I hate to see it rained out. Preston, you wait. What time do they play? Can you look? Move back in the day. 
Clock 10. See what time we play. No, Doug, it's this. Well, here's what I'll tell you, Doug. The show that they're coming up with, the ideas that I'm hearing, the um, the plan that they have is excellent. And it's not going to be a bunch of sitting there yelling, you know, ridiculous stuff. It's going to be a good quality show that, you know, when you go to a show and you sit and you watch it, and you're like, man, this is cool. Like Chris with his stream that he does with his um, chill thing. People go there. They have a good time. They like what the, the content is and they want to come back. And that's what, what they're doing. And I'm really, um, I've been just sitting back and been amazed at how they're coming together and doing it. It's going to be really good. They've all taken it. Uh, was, they've all they've all gone out and got new equipment to stream with and everything. It's really cool to see because I was there once and I remember that. So I'm excited. Weather's looking good for tomorrow. Yes, good. We want to have a good game. So, Doug, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be really good. I'm I couldn't be more proud to have them on my channel. Really couldn't. White Sox won a game. Um, Sadly, the chatter is shot is that we are going to yard sale and start. I think it's the correct. I think it's the correct move. Yeah, you should yard sale some of those top dollars. You're not. You're not winning everything, right? You're far away. Start refining it. My opinion. This is a great song. Anytime you have a song that's about the military, I'm about it. Listening to this song, you got to say thank you to the soldiers, all past, present, and pray for those ones in the future. Um, be they man, be they woman, it doesn't matter. They serve and their family serves, and we're we're grateful and humble for that. As Toby Keith plays in the background. What's up, David T? Yeah, we're heading home. We're almost there. Okay, you're on the front line. It is a beautiful thing that we can sleep in peace because there's a American soldier standing up post somewhere. Always, no matter what day it is, we have soldiers standing up post in danger, offering up their sacrifice, offering up their everything they do to protect us. You, know. you want to do something nice? Thank a veteran. You see a veteran out there, somebody wearing a veteran hat, a veteran of a certain war. You know, you're talking to somebody and you hear, hey, you know, my dad's a veteran, my mom's a veteran. Take the time to say thank you. Trust me, it goes a long way. Long, long way. Sleep in peace tonight. Gonzo's calling me while I'm live. Unbelievable. Well, I wish we took care of our veterans too. Hold on. There we go. Come back in. Sorry. My uh, my my phone. My front door went off. Well, Gonzo was calling me on my phone. The front door went off. I thought it was Gonzo at my front door. It was not. It was my daughter leaving. Kayla and her boyfriend were going out for breakfast or brunch or whatever. You watching Orioles preview? You watching Orioles preview or MLB? Uh, Pirates are playing right now? Oh, that's right. It's Sunday morning games. I forgot about that. No, I wasn't. I had to do. I had to go check. If he was at my front door, I needed to do that. Ready for Walt Disney World in September? Get your ankle better, bud. During the holidays, I will anonymously buy a vet or insisted or insisted. 
dinner place. It's nice. It's nice to do stuff like that, Casey. I've done a bunch of that stuff through my lifetime. You know, what I used to love with my company, my company would, uh, my clients would give me allocations of funds that I could use for supporting. So I would go to the commissary or the exchange and I would buy $50 gift cards with it. So I'd get, you know, $500 at a clip and go buy 10 of them. And I just walk around as I'm around the military bases and just walk up and hand the soldier. I always look for a soldier with a family is what I look, look for. I look for a soldier on base with kids and all that. And I'd walk up and just say, hey, just want to thank you for your service. And they'd be like, well, who are you? What do we do? What do we do? Nothing. You don't need to know who I am. You just need to know that I'm somebody who, you know, is the moral majority of people out here that want to say thank you. Hey, Paul, good luck with everything, buddy. Good luck with everything out there. Be safe. I'm getting off here in just a couple minutes anyway. Hey, it's brightening up a little bit here. That's good. Really appreciate everybody coming in today. I want to thank everybody for all the multiple messages, um, you know, on the videos and everything about Preston and how he's doing. Um, thank you to everybody over in the um, the show uh, the show moderator chat and also in Molly's nightclub for the, the inquiries about Preston, the the nice comments and everything, um, the well wishes. I appreciate all that of everybody caring and and being out for him. Uh, thank everybody for coming in here today with us, our member, our members of the channel, our moderators of the channel. Yeah, cancel game, surf bone. Hey, good to see you, buddy. So, I always know that there's other places you could be on a Sunday morning other than driving with me in a car. You know, um, you know, and and that's important. Of course, you you know you got you got what is it a taco blanket again? Remind me again. Taco blanket. Taco. Taco blanket. So. You're welcome, Mike. Thank you, buddy. Members of the community, members of this channel that keep this channel flowing, thank you for your um, fiscal support to do that. Uh, never expected from anybody. The burrito blanket. That's right. Thank you. Um, it's never expected by anybody that you support us and do that. We are always appreciative and humble and grateful because it does help us. Uh, yeah, happy early birthday, uh, Casey said it to Preston. It's Tuesday, uh, but we've been celebrating a little bit of it because to us it's a big one at 16 uh, here. And uh, hard to believe that we've gotten to that point so fast in our lives. So, but again, we truly appreciate anything that you do. The members of this channel, uh, are the lifeblood of this channel and keeping it together. So we are truly grateful. And I don't say that enough, I feel. I don't want to overdo it, but I want to make sure we emphasize the fact of the importance of it. Okay. It's uh, it's it's critical. So. Yeah, he's gotten taller recently, John, too. He's starting. I'm hoping he'll get a little bit of a growth spur here at some point. He's doing some lifting and all that. Going to get back into that. we got a whole... We got a whole gym in our basement. It better get used, or I will, I will be down there doing something, flipping out. So since we rebuilt the basement to make it applicable, and now baseball is coming down, he can do that. So um, time to buy another car now. Not time to buy another car. Nope, cars are good right now. Not not time yet, sir. Make sure you get one of those shirts that we're doing. Guys, help us out with, uh, if you're not coming to the meet and greet, get one of the collectible show shirts from the Maryland updated event. I'd really appreciate it. You know, we're not making uh, anything really on it. We're just making enough to cover the taxes on there. But I'd love to see you uh, having those shirts supporting. There's also a really good brand new, uh, brand new Skyliner Disney shirt that we created. While you're on there, take a look for the Skyliner Disney shirt. It's really cool. It's got my my name, my logo, and it's got the Skyliner over it. Thank you, Doug, for dropping that. It's got the Skyliner from Disney in the shirt. It's, I really like it. 
It's got the castle on it with my logo on the castle. Uh, KDY helped me create it. I really like it. I bought one. I have it being delivered to me. Um, and hopefully my kids or my wife or somebody else will want one at some point want to wear and, you know, show the channel off and everything. And the fact that you all would want to do that makes uh, makes me very proud. So thank you for that. So with all that said, we got 15 minutes left in our drive. And I think it's about time I gave the car a little bit of break. Hey, you want to say goodbye to everybody? I think he, he might be asleep. I think he's going to sleep. So. But, so check me out tonight. Here's the key rundown real quick. Tonight, live interview with Casey, 7 o'clock tonight. Dad Builds will be live, I'm sure, doing his chill and hangout show. He does a good job with it. I'm sure that'll be later tonight. Dave of Brandy and Dave is also later tonight, 7 o'clock time frame. Check them out, check them out, check them out. Uh, this week coming up, big things. I'll be over on Zippity Doo Dog on Wednesday, getting interviewed 7 o'clock with him. Uh, Short and Sassy over on Joy on Wednesday coming up. That's a solid. You want to check that out. Uh, Jeff will be back live on Thursday doing his thing. Mouse Talk will be live on Thursday doing his thing. We know that Steve will be live on Monday night doing his thing uh, going on. Dad Builds and I will be live back again on our own channels with the Friday, Saturday shows. And then next Sunday is the debut of the Triple C's coming out at you. Uh, it's going to be the chaotic chat, and it's going to be fantastic. So you got a week of quality viewing all across our community. I hope you'll go out and support those people as well. Uh, thank you to everybody, and we will see you hopefully later tonight. I'm going to push buttons and try not to screw this up. Come on. There we go. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day.